Good evening, my name is Garrett, and welcome to The Last Call. Tonight's final drink is from Jay Mattingly. This is the Evolution Blend, a pick for Holly's Package Store located in Greentown, Indiana, coming in at a 56.5% ABV. So for full disclosure, this bottle was sent over for us to take a look at and a review, so just keeping that transparency open. Again, Holly's Package Store is located in Greentown, Indiana, and they are going through and doing some amazing things. Not only a great bourbon selection, but competitive pricing. And when it comes to their store picks, they're going out to these locations, finding the barrels they want to bring back with them and getting them bottled. And Jay Maddenly is located in Kentucky and they do a lot of bottles and blends and all sorts of cool, interesting things that you can go down there, find one yourself, get it topped, you get to name it, pick your wax, all that kind of cool stuff. And you can find them all around at a lot of different stores that are doing very unique things or just wanting something unique for them themselves for commemorative reasons. So with all that great information in your head, let's just go ahead and jump into the whiskey itself. As always, we're gonna be trying it two different ways. First way, neat, no ice, no water. Second way, we'll add just a drop of water, see if anything changes up. And as always, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, hang around for a bit, uh, become a member if you'd like. And if you're interested in some of the other store picks that I'll be reviewing from Holly's Package Store, links to those videos will be up above and down below for you to check out, along with a link to their Facebook page so you can go follow them, all that kind of good stuff, and see about anything coming up for them. Beautiful dark color. Look at that. Gorgeous, almost the dark red. It's almost dark rum-like. It's pretty. All right, let's go for notes. Ooh, sweet apples in here. A lot of tart apple. Wow. I'm getting a dry cinnamon in there, but the apple notes, very orchard sweet on the nose. Like freshly pressed apples. Nice layer of spice in there. A little bit of wood char going on as well. Nice homemade caramel in there. Wood sugars are showing up. Get that nice barrel spice in there. If I had to guess, there's probably a somewhat of a build of rye in here. It's got a bit of spiciness going on but definitely a higher build of corn because you get a bit of buttery sweet corn going on. A little oiliness in here as well. It's kind of rich. A lot going on for the nose for it. All right, let's go for a taste. Oh, that's just pretty. Oh man, the apple sweetness mixed in there with that spiciness is phenomenal. It is rich and sweet but spicy but it's apple sweet not like candy sweet uh, so you get this kind of tartness from a green apple orchard note and then this beautiful rye spice kind of barking right behind it beautiful warmth on the palate clings and leaves across just a little bit of a barrel note on there just kind of a, a barrel bitterness but that sweet tart cherry going on, almost Jolly Rancher apple going in here. That's where my brain's going right now. That is beautiful. It's beautifully soft. Oh man, that is, it's almost inviting. I'm getting a little bit of like a dried cacao note in the background on my second sip now. But the tartness and sweet apples, orchards, it are mixing so well with this build of spice in there that this is it's a phenomenal sip wow i mean i'll be honest calling it the evolution blend um it has just this kind of progressing palette to it starting off very orchard sweet apples and then it goes into the spicy rye notes uh, a little bit of that corn sweetness in there and then you're kind of hearing the finish getting that barrel spice, a little bit of oak vanilla caramel. But for me, I'm also getting a bit of dry cacao in there as well. That really is an evolution of flavors going on. And that is awesome to taste and see firsthand. I really like that pour, whole oh my. All right, let's add a little drop of water, see if anything changes up here. Might help us find some additional notes. Might change th things up for us. Never know until we try, right? Of course. All right, so I just added one little drop of water in here, just incorporating it all. I'm just kind of curious on what kind of notes might come up. Might be a little bit interesting. So let's find out. Let's go for notes. 
very similar. The only thing I would say that changes for me is it's not quite as spice forward. Here I was getting a lot more of the cinnamon, clove, nutmeg right on the nose. Here, you're just getting a little more sweetness. Definitely goes more orchard sweet versus apple sweet. Still good. There's a little bit of spice in the background. Still no ABV, nothing harsh, no off notes. That's just a really good nose on that one. But as soon as you come back to the neat version, all your complexities are there. Again, all those spices, the barrel tannins are kind of showing up for me. But for me, it's more pronounced in that apple sweetness. So let's go for taste on the water version. That's really solid too. It's got a little more warmth on the palate, but you're still getting all those beautiful, rich complexities of the rye spice and more of an orchard sweetness of fruit notes. Nothing like specific apples, but just a well-rounded sweetness going on in there. The little bit of barrel impact is still kind of lingering on the palate. It's not quite as strong as the neat version, which is expected. We're breaking up a lot of those oils and just kind of proofing it down a bit. Let's go back to the neat one here. Yeah, you can tell right away there is a big difference compared to the neat version. It's got a little bit more of the apple forward sweetness, the cinnamon, the clove, the nutmeg, the barrel spice in here, the charriness is really showing up on the palate too. As always, it doesn't matter what you drink or how you drink it, as long as you enjoy it. The water version surprised me. It's actually really solid, but the neat version is the way to go on this one. So let's talk about market price because we all know market price is market price and it's always going to vary. Now, this was again a bottle that was selected by Holly's Package Store located in Greentown, Indiana, and they're charging about $117 for it. Now, looking at other J. Madden Lee releases, they range anywhere between $100 all the way up to $150. So 117 is well within that range. And the Evolution blend, I'll be honest, is a knockout of the park. It lives up to that name. Starting off sweet, you know, with those orchard notes going to the spiciness of that rye, and then that beautiful barrel impact. It is definitely a rye, and being a commemorative bottle and kind of being your own special pick, I think it's well within that wheelhouse. It's a really solid sip and highly recommended if you ever visit the location, grab yourself a bottle before they're gone. And again, if you're interested in visiting Holly's Package Store or just learning more about them, a link to their Facebook page will be down in the description area below. Go show them some love. So yeah, there you have it, folks. Jay Mattingly, the Evolution Blend picked by Holly's Package Store. If you have any questions about the bottle itself, let me know down in the comment section below. I will do my best to answer it. And if you have any specific spirits I should go looking for, also let me know down below. Love doing these reviews and sharing with you the experience at home. And as always, May your last trick of the night be the best one.